He's everything. He's everything to me. He's everything. He's everything to me. He's my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. He's everything to me. Oh, yes, he's everything. He's everything to me. He's everything. He's everything to me. He's my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. He's everything to me. Oh, yes, he's everything. He's everything to me. He's everything. He's everything to me. He's my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. He's everything to me. Oh, yes, he's everything. He's everything to me. He's everything. He's everything to me. He's my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. He's everything to me. Oh, yes, he's everything. He's everything to me. He's everything. He's everything to me. He's my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. He's everything to me. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you, Deacon and Sister Shy. Good morning, Anointed to Praise. Good morning, Dr. Harrison. Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, Elder Johnson. God bless you. Good morning, Ty G. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Turner. God bless you. Good morning, The Rock Church. Brockton, God bless you. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Mika. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Reese. God bless you, Sister Banks. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you, Mika. God bless you, Fancy Soft. Good morning, Sister Bugs. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Stokes. God bless you. Praise the Lord, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron, and your entire family. Praise Jesus, Brother Paul. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you, my friend. Good morning, Tanisha. God bless you. Good morning, Bishop and Lady Alde. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you. Good morning, Latasia. God bless you. Praying for you. Good morning, Sister Riley. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Matthews. Good morning, Francine. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry and the family. Good morning. Good morning, Jeannie. God bless you. Good morning, Pastor and Lady Williams. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of United Refuge. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Angela, my dear sister. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Speller. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Missionary Bryant. We're praying for you. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Lydia. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Morris. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Minister Scott. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Clory. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Missionary Zimmerman. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Harrell Long. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Riley. Good morning, Sister Nash. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Sylvia. God bless you today. Good morning, Sister Bobin. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Sutton. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Roberts. God bless you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And I'm reading testimonies of people being able to return home from hospitals, surgeries, going well, hallelujah, God bringing people out of situations that could have been very easily negative, but God continues to show his favor to us, and we are grateful. We are simply grateful to the Lord. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, please place it into the chat, or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can put it right there in the chat, or you can 
direct message Pastor RJD, Pastor RJD, and to everybody that's on the conference call, and I thank God for our conference call listeners, everybody that's on YouTube or anybody can text your prayer request, and that number is 336 336- Five six seven five three five eight. That number is three three six five six seven five three five eight. You can text in your prayer request. We're praying over them. We're believing God with you, and we know that God is able to deliver. I want you to join me in the Word of God, back in Psalm number one thirty five, Psalm one hundred thirty five, and we're going to read. Verses 8 through 14. Psalm 135, verses 8 through 14. Who smote the firstborn of Egypt, both of man and beast, who sent tokens and wonders in the midst of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh, upon all his servants, who smote great nations and slew mighty kings, Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land for an heritage, an heritage unto Israel his people. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants." He will repent himself concerning his servants. And I want to talk with you today from the subject, God will handle our enemies. God will handle our enemies. The primary enemy of the believer is Satan. The word Satan by itself means adversary, opponent, foe, someone who is against you, someone who seeks your death, your destruction, the cessation of your life. That's an enemy. Somebody that pushes you or jumps line is not necessarily an enemy. An enemy is somebody that lives their lives for your destruction for your detriment. And what we need to always remind ourselves is that as the people of God, we have God with us to combat our enemies. Enemy um, is can be fearsome. The enemy can be um, challenging to any and all of us. The enemy can oppose us and make um, whatever we're doing more difficult. But I need us to understand that the enemy can only stop us if we allow ourselves to be stopped. Now, that's important because, you know, many times when we face the enemy, the enemy makes us rethink strategy and plans and purpose and intentions because he is doing something difficult or challenging. And because of what he's doing, sometimes we will begin to back up, begin to rethink, begin to reconsider. But you have to put in the equation that God is with you when you face the enemy. You are not facing the enemy alone. You are not facing the enemy without help. You are not facing the enemy without God standing with you in the midst of whatever you are dealing with. God is indeed standing with you. And because God is standing with you, the Bible says, if God be for us, hallelujah, who can be against us? If God is standing in our midst, if God is leaning on us, if God is in consuming us with his presence, there is but so much that the enemy can do. Yes, he can threaten. And sometimes the threat is enough to turn some of us back. Yes, he can attack. And sometimes the attack 
is enough to turn some of us back. But you need to understand that in the midst of all of it, you have the defense of God, hallelujah, working, working, and yes, working on your behalf. That's what the, the text is trying to say to us when it talks about the people that God attacked because they attacked his children. You know, one of the things that I always am, am, am blessed by is the opening text when God sends Moses to Egypt and says, surely I have seen the affliction of my children in Egypt by reason of their taskmasters, because I know their sorrows. God is fully aware of every attack, every negative action, every negative deed that has come from others towards you. God is fully aware of that. He is aware of that. And the Bible says, I will come down to deliver that when God sees enough, when God hears enough, when God has seen you go through enough, he then steps in hallelujah, to intervene in your situation. He says he smote the firstborn of Egypt. That was an act of God directly related to Egypt's enslavement of Israel. He slew the firstborn. He sent the plagues and wonders, tokens in other words, in the midst of thee, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and upon all his servants. God went to war on behalf of Israel because they were being attacked and enslaved by Egypt. To, to our knowledge, Israel had done nothing ungodly or wrong or inappropriate towards Egypt. They just lived there as the family and the descendants of Joseph. But when they saw them grow, when they saw them advance, when they saw the favor of God upon Israel, Israel, Egypt got worried about it. Some people are worried about you, not because you've done anything. They're worried about what you might do because they see your strength and they see your potential and they see how God is blessing you and they become intimidated by God's favor upon your life. But if they have the, the nerve to come at you, to attack you, trust and believe God will indeed defend you. God will indeed, hallelujah, retaliate on your behalf because that's the kind of God that you serve. He will deal with our enemies. And then he just goes on to give this list of attacks, hallelujah, against those who were the enemies of Egypt. He attacked Sion, who was the king of the Amorites. He attacked Og, who was the king of Bashan. He attacked the kingdoms of Canaan, the Amorites, the Jebusites, all of these that Joshua had to con conquer as he went through into the promised land. God empowered them. Now, whether it was God directly attacking them or God using Israel and empowering Israel to fight, God was dealing with the enemy. Sometimes God will fight for you. Sometimes God will fight through you. Let me say that again. Sometimes God will fight for you. You don't have to fight. He'll do the fighting. And then there are times God will fight through you. He will empower you. He will give you, hallelujah, what you need and what you desire. He'll give you what is necessary so that you can face and conquer the enemy. But trust and believe if you've got the victory, God gave it to you. Hallelujah. If you have the victory, God gave it to you. And then not only did he give them the victory, but go on to verse number 12. He gave them their land for an inheritance for inheritance. That means what they possess, God took it from them and gave it to Israel. What these other nations possess, what they owned, what was what they considered their property, their, their property rather, their legacy, God took it from them and gave it to Israel. Remember when Egypt, when, when they left Egypt, when Israel left Egypt, God told them, go to the Egyptians and tell them you're leaving. And the Egyptians started giving them gold and silver, all their precious jewelry, all their precious items. So they had wealth when they left Egypt. God's not going to let you endure suffering for nothing. He's going to make sure that the same enemy that attacked you paid you. Oh, hallelujah. The same enemy that tried to destroy you is going to pay you. And he gave them the land of the Amorites. He gave them the land of Canaan. He gave them the land as their heritage. Hallelujah. So they would have a possession and have a land. And even now there is distress 
just because God gave that land to Israel and Israel is fighting among enemies everywhere that resist them, that hate them because of the favor of God that is upon the nation. Now, it doesn't justify, let me be clear about this, what Israel has done recently. It doesn't justify the humanitarian crisis and Israel doesn't have to do that because they have the favor of God upon them. Yes, they have the right to defend themselves, but they don't have the right to cause people to starve and to shoot convoys and all of this thing. And God is judging because of all of this. Trust and believe God is judging because of all of this. But he gave them a heritage and he gave them a heritage and the protection of his name. Look at verse 13. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever. Thy name, O Lord, endureth forever. This is why we have victory. This is why we can stand up against the enemy because he's given us the power of his name. Now, we, we, we don't talk about the name as much as we should, but the name invokes the authority, the presence, and the power of God. When you release the name, there's power in your name. Hallelujah. When you go to the bank and you sign a check, hallelujah, that releases whatever you own from the bank. You put the amount in and you sign your name and it releases what you have. You sign your name to initiate contracts. You sign your name to buy cars and houses because there's power right behind your name. So if there's power in your name, to create things. If there's power in your name to release wealth, if there's power in your name to give authorization, what about the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. If there's power, my God, in your name to get the money out of the bank, if there's power in your name to initiate some type of agreement, there has to be power in the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run if they're in and they are safe. All of that in the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. The name of the Lord. Oh God, at the name of Jesus, every knee has got to bow. Every tongue has got to confess all at the name of Jesus because there's authority and his name endureth forever. His name saves now. His name delivers now. His name redeems now. His name cleanses now. All of this out of the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. His name endureth forever and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. In other words, what God has established will continue because God established it. If we walk upright before the Lord, if we obey his commandments, if we follow his statutes, his memorial, what God has established will endure. It will endure. People are looking at some of us now because they're aware of what the things we've been through. They're looking at some of our churches and they're aware of what we endured during, before the pandemic, during the pandemic, after the pandemic. And they're wondering why we're still standing. We're still standing because we represent the memorial of God. And God won't let his name go down and he won't let his people go down. God will hold us up. God will keep our hearts and our minds, hallelujah, in the center of his will. And guess what? God will judge his people. Yes, he will, because he's a just God. He will judge his people and he will repent himself concerning his servants. What does this mean? This means that all of us deserve the wrath and the judgment of God. None of us are so pure that we could not be judged by God. But because of God's love, because of God's covenant, because of God's mercy, he will even relent his wrath. You know, none of us have received what we really deserve. Let's just be honest about this. None of us have received what we really deserve. We should have been lost, but God had mercy, hallelujah, upon our lives. We should have been cut off, but God had mercy. Hallelujah. God had mercy upon us. And because of his blood, because of his sacrifice, for that very reason, we're still standing. We're saved. Hallelujah. We're enduring. We're standing up in the midst of everything that we could have faced because of the mercy of God. It's of the Lord's mercy. Y'all hear me say it. Because that we are not consumed. Because his compassion fails not. But it's made new every morning. That's why every one of us ought to be thanking God today. Hallelujah, because God will deal with our enemies 
and he doesn't deal with us as an enemy but he deals with us through his love and his mercy. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for you and thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Merciful God, we love you. We adore you. We thank you, God, for everything you've done hallelujah we thank you god for your grace your love your kindness we thank you god for last night's rest and for waking us this morning lord we're in our right mind we're in we're able to get out of the bed we're able to get prepared to join this great cadre of believers my God, from all over the world, I thank you today, Lord, for the morning prayer family. I thank you for everybody. And whether they've come by Facebook or whether they've come by Instagram or YouTube, however they've come, Lord, today, we want to thank you, God, for the family. Lord, flood this prayer room right now with your presence, your glory. Flood this prayer room right now, God, with, oh God, hallelujah, favor and love and kindness, God, for the needs of people today. And Lord, we're praying right now for everybody whose name is on the prayer list, every name that's been sent by text or messenger or email, every name in the chat, God, because we know that you're able. We call you today. Oh my God, because we know that you're able and we reach out to you now. God, for the benefit of every heart and mind and soul. God, we're praying today that you would remember Miracle and Jennifer McCarroll Johnson and Irvin Johnson. God, send your deliverance. Remember, oh God, Mother Barbara Pittman. Remember Sister Sheila Reed. Remember my God, Stacy. Hallelujah. And Trayvon. Remember, God, the children of the saints, Lord. Some are going through. Some are drifting. Some are outside of the ark of safety. But nevertheless, we trust you, God, for their deliverance. We trust you, God, to make a way. We trust you, Lord, to open a door and to bless them. God, restore and reclaim. God, remember them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, my God, for the churches represented in this prayer today. We pray for refuge of Scotland Neck. We pray for faith refuge of Harrisburg. We pray for Shiloh Apostolic Temple Cathedral, oh God, of Atlantic City. We pray for Shiloh, hallelujah, of Plainfield. We pray for the community church of a Astoria and the Community Church of Island. We pray, God, for greater ecclesia in the Poconos. We pray, God, that you remember, my God, every congregation. We pray for greater refuge temple of New York City, of Jacksonville, of Lakeland, of Charleston, of Washington, D.C. We pray for refuge temple of Burlington, God, that you remember everybody in our family. God, we pray, God, that you remember, hallelujah, refuge temple of Oxford. We pray, my God, for greater ransom temple of of Henderson, God. We pray, Lord, that you remember every single congregation today. Send power, send deliverance. Remember the pastors, remember the leaders, remember the members of these churches. Lord, we pray today, hallelujah, that you remember Sister Seneca Austin. You remember Lady Lisa Kinchin today, that you remember the Edwards family, Buddy Winston, Shardell Willis, that you remember the Willis family, that you remember my God Dexter today, that you remember Marie, remember, and family. Remember, my God, Lamone. Remember, Sister Shirley Boyd today. Remember, Blanche Washington. Sister Latasia Davis today. Remember, Kaithi God, in the name of Jesus. Remember, hallelujah. Oh God, Bishop and Mother Joseph, Bishop and Lady Alde, remember Bishop and Mother Wright, Bishop and Lady Wilkins, Bishop Clifton Staten, Bishop and Mother Darby, Bishop Sylvester Reed, Bishop and Mother Smith today, Bishop and Lady Davenport, Bishop and Lady Cousins, Apostle and Lady Keith today, Apostle and Lady Parsons this morning, remember Apostle Michael Fields, Apostle and Lady Barry today, Apostle and Lady May, Apostle and Mother Clark today, all of the leaders in the body of Christ everywhere, God strength and help them now. Remember Mary Keelan today. Remember in the name of Jesus. Look on and remember 
Hallelujah. Cornelia, Mother McCall today. Look on the Jones family. Look on Sister Terry Jackson Walker and Deacon Walker and their family. Look on the Watson family, the Williams family, the Scott family, the Wells family. Look on Sister Wiggins today and Brother Wiggins. Look on Tiona Hopkins today. Look on Francine Lee. Look on Catrice. Look on Travis and family. Lord, everybody on this prayer list today, God touch and intervene. Lord, save my God to the utmost. Everybody outside side of the ark of safety. God save them, deliver them, set them free in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray today that you remember the backsliders today. God reclaim and restore in the name of Jesus. God remember, oh God, the broken. Remember the battered. Remember the bitter. Remember the depressed. Remember the oppressed, God. And God send deliverance now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, we're praying for the sick today everywhere. Everywhere, God, somebody is struggling physically but we're praying for them right now. We're praying, my God, for Deborah Smith. We're praying for Deacon Jimmy Tucker today. We're praying for Pastor Kevin Kinchin, for Sister Gertrude Austin, for Mother Reavers, for Mother Blunt, for Mother Johnson today. We're praying for Sister Beth Chisholm. We're praying today for Cynthia Jackson Perry. Be with her, God, and cover her and keep her. We're praying for Miss Pauline, for Mabel, for Doris Williams. We're praying for Sister Paul. We're praying for John Baker today. We're praying for Shirley's mother this morning. We're praying today, oh God, for Margot Briscoe's mother. We're praying, my God, for Sylvia Hood, for Andrew Morris, for Kayla, for Shauna Jeter today. We're praying for Sister Kamisha Robinson. We're praying for Bessie Drawn for Arminthia, oh God, Hodges today, for Jerry Lee Hamilton. We're praying, my God, for Jes for Josiah. We're praying for Aquanetta Williams, for Chris Harper, for Aunt Irene. We're praying for Jonathan today. We're praying, my God, that you remember Sister Sarah Clark. We're praying for Melissa Daria. We're praying for Mother Lois Harrison this morning, for Lily Jones, for Diana Williams' son. We're praying for Juliet Johnson today. We're praying, my God, for Maurice Lewis, for Mr. Battle, for Trixie Norris, for Jackie Prince, for Brenda Parker's husband, to, for Teresa, for Miss Hawkins today, for George Martin. God, remember Minister Perkins. Remember, my God, in your name. Hallelujah. Remember, oh God, Xavier and Daniel. Remember Deacon Adams today. Deacon and Sister Mother, Hallelujah, Wilson. Deacon and Sister Harrison today. Phil Solomon. We're praying, my God, for Elder Toll and Elder Dokes, for Mother Virgie DuBose. We're praying, God, that you would touch in the name of Jesus. Mother Mary Williams, Mother Lloyd, Mother Perry, Mother Meadows today. Lord, I pray for Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy today. I'm praying, God, that you remember, my God, Missionary Marlene Roseman, Missionary Jesse Brisbane, Missionary Hodges today. I'm praying, my God, for your healing, my God, to be upon, hallelujah, Sister Denise McLean, to be upon, my God, Mother Wilson, oh God, Brother Carl, to be upon Deacon, hallelujah, Grant today, to be upon Philip Grant, God, Remember Pastor and Lady Winston, Bishop and Mother D, Apostle and Lady Keith today. Remember my God, Bishop, hallelujah, Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard today in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, hallelujah, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today, Mother Coleman today, Sister Shakaya Polk. God, remember Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson. Remember my God, Bishop Clonell Williams today. Remember Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Earl. Irving Taylor. God, remember Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold today, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop Brian Williams, Bishop William Jenkins, Bishop Johnny Davis, Lady J this morning. Remember my God, Lady Williams. Remember Lady Kathy Forehand, Lady Barbara Vincent, Lady Deborah Carter, Lady Pamela Davenport, Mother Stokes today. God, remember, oh God, Apostle, hallelujah, Herbert Evers, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle, hallelujah, Sylvester Norwood. God, we're praying today that you remember, hallelujah, brother and mother Sherrod. Remember Mother Garland. Remember Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother, Mother Jill and Mother Pride. I pray for, oh God, Elder and Mother Dugan, Elder and Mother Murray, Brother and Mother Chambers, Mother Carter today, Mother Moorhead. God, I'm praying for them. I'm praying for Lady Staten today. I'm praying, my God, for Minister Carr. I'm praying for Elder Tyson and Elder Smith today. I'm praying for Mother Foster, Henry J., Brother Cliff. Lord, remember Mother Tanaj. 
God's mother home in Missionary Simmons. God, look on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess, look on Marlette today. Look on Maurice this morning. Look on Cynthia. Look on, hallelujah, Tony and Dennis. Look on, my God, Mother Jackson today, Apostle Moultrie. Lord, everybody that may be in a hospital, a nursing home, a rehab center, God, look on them, help them, and heal them now. Even in hospice, God, be the healer there. Lord, I'm praying, my God, for the grieving today. I'm praying for Mother Dorothy Bryant and her family. I'm praying for Bishop Henry Davenport and his family. I'm praying for Sister Anita Bryant today. I'm praying, my God, for Dr. Jennifer McCarroll's sister. Oh, God, that's grieving. I'm praying for Sister Janelle Rousen. I'm praying for Minister Jamie Carr and their families. I'm praying for the Wilson family this morning. God, I'm praying, oh, God, for George Morning, for Charles Brody and family, for Hilda, oh, God, and her grandchildren. I'm praying for the Carey family. I'm praying for Mother Clory. I'm praying for Bishop Spellman and his family, for the Clark family, for the Rogera Simmons family. I'm praying, my God, for Sister Virgie Wright, for Sister Deborah Graves and their families, for Rhonda Darlington, for Rebecca Abraham, for Bruce Rickenbacker. I'm praying for the Johnson family and the Brown family and their respective church families. Lord, remember Mother Walker and Mother Moya and their family. Remember, my God, Jaleesa and Jackie. Remember, my God, Phoenicia and Whitney. Remember, Takesha. Remember, Jerry today and their families. Remember, my God, Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and Mother Close and the family. Remember, Dr. Carter and the family. Remember, Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family. Remember, in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, all of these grieving families today. God, remember, hallelujah, oh God, the Quarles family. Remember Mother Harrell and the family. Remember, my God, Mother Grant and the family, the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters. Remember, my God, in a special way, every grieving family everywhere. Remember the Meadows family, the Moya family, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters, the White family. Remember, my God, Anita, oh God, again in a special way. God, remember, oh God, Margie, hallelujah, oh God, and the McLean, Melvin, and Street families. Remember the Ransom family. Remember the Newkirk family. God, in the name of Jesus, remember my God, hallelujah, oh God, the Green family. Remember, oh God, in the name of Jesus, the Jackson family. Remember the Nunn family. Remember my God, the Umstead family. Remember Brenda and the Allen McNeely family. Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family. Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family. Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. The Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdy's, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family. God, remember these precious families today. Give them grace. Give them comfort. Give them strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, my God, hallelujah, every grieving heart today. Lord, I pray for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. I pray, God, that you remember every bishop and elder, every first lady. Oh, God, mothers. Oh, God, all the pastor's children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons, the young people of the church. God, remember them and help them. Lord, I pray today that you remember first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, school employees and students everywhere. Remember Durham Public Schools. I pray today that you remember, my God, everybody that works. Cover them and keep them under your precious blood. Remember everybody that needs a job. Make a provision. God, remember everybody. My God, God on a fixed income. God, make a way and make the ends meet. And Lord, look on this troubled world today. So much trouble everywhere, God, but you're the bomb in Gilead. So heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from unrighteousness. Heal the land from hatred, jealousy, and violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, cover us. Keep us. Protect us. And we'll give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on, join me right now in giving God praise. Everybody on this line, join me right now in giving God praise. Giving God praise. Giving God praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's bless him, everybody. Let's bless him, everybody. Hallelujah. This is. My declaration for today, the Lord's name endures forever. The Lord's name endures forever. 
God is keeping us. God is providing for us. God is making a way for us. And it's through the power that is in his name, his name, hallelujah, his name, his name, hallelujah, will protect, his name will defend, his name will heal, his name will save, his name will deliver, his name, his name, hallelujah, and it endures forever. It endures forever. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected with Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. You can go back and look at the Bible class last night where we talked about restoring God's glory in your life. Hallelujah. It'll bless you. We can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I want to thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do. And we thank God for them. And we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's Refuge Temple. P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online. Our website is www.refugetemple. It is in North C is in Carolina.com. And you can give on the donate page. You can also give through Cash App. Our Cash App is dollar sign, capital O N E, capital R E F U G E. One Refuge, one Refuge. And you can make your gift there. And we thank you for your giving, but we thank you most of all for for being a part of this morning prayer family because God is blessing people all over the world because we are praying together. Please don't forget Founders Day, May 2nd through the 4th at Greater Refuge Temple in New York City. We're going to be collecting for that. We want everybody to put aside a gift to bless the educational pursuits of the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't forget we're going to the Caribbean in the months of June and July and you can see the information about traveling to St. Kitts, St. Lucia, or Jamaica. You can go to one, two, or three. That's your choice. Hallelujah. But plan to go with us if you desire. Fill out the flyer. They'll get back in touch with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Look, I love this morning prayer family. And I truly thank God for all of you because God is using all of us to bless people all around the world. So keep praying, keep coming to prayer. And as you pray, pray for me, Pray for Lady Davis, pray for our children, pray for my father, my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God will continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might keep us and sustain us. The Lord protect you and defend you from all of your enemies. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.